Folks, we just cooked up some fish soup. About to mind our mother did. Grandma. And then uh, got the grill over here. Now we're gonna hit this barbecue later on. A little bit of pork going on. And Maria has crafted her some type of uh, headdress here. Maria, great fashion going on, sweetie girl. My goodness, Papa's proud of you for your fashion. How's the soup, sweetie? Yummy. Got Yummy. Big Mom over here feeding little Force G. How is it, babe? What? It's good? Yeah. What'd you put in that fish soup? Oh my lord. It's delicious. Nice. Is there any soup for the foreign dude? Yeah. Over here? Oh, that's Big Daddy's plate over there? Yeah. Okay. Folks, we are blessed with this fish soup. A kilo of fish is 204 feet, and I just buy a half for four feet. Uh, it's a Four pieces. Yeah. One twenty. Mmm. Good price, baby. Good job. Yeah. Hey, baby, your your nipples are showing through your shirt. It's so cute, It's so happy. Yum yum fish. Mmm. <laughs> yum yum fish. <laughs> the roof, Maria. There's a chicken on the roof? Yeah. Well, I see a chicken behind you, but I don't know if there's a chicken on the roof. It is. All right, folks. It's a beautiful evening. Got Filipino wife number two over here about to start a little charcoal grill. She got a box of matches. I gave her some paper. No plastic, baby. Something's on the roof. Go look up there, Maria, and see what's on the roof. Maybe it's a cat. Or, or is it a kuya? There's a chicken in the room. There's a chicken on the roof? Yeah. Oh no. That's who's scratching around up there. Maybe he's laying a... She's is laying, she's the laying an egg up there. Is this in under the charcoal or in the top of the charcoal? No, but put that in the bottom. Put the charcoal on top of that. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you already dumped the char- well... Yeah, your system's a little bit flawed, baby girl. Oh my god, I'm gonna put that in there. That chicken popped up eggs over there. Yes, I'm gonna put it in there. I already... <laughs> Maria, that's the chicken that I have in the room. Oh, that's the chicken that I put in the room. Yeah, that's the chicken that I put in the room. Yeah, that's the chicken that I put in the room. Yeah, that's the chicken that I put in the room. Yeah, that's the chicken that I put in the room. Yeah, that's the chicken that I put in the room. Yeah, that's the chicken that I put in the room. Yeah, that's the chicken that I put in the room. Yeah, that's the chicken that I put in the room. Yeah, that's the chicken that I put he sounds like a chicken's up there, but I can't see him. I just hope he lays an egg and it rolls down and it's a golden egg. Get it, baby. Get it. Look. Forest. <laughs> Uh, what is it? A lot of smoke now. You were, you were doing good, but now you're smoking up my FX3. Don't scare them enough. Maria, my goodness, I saw you. I got the. E I know, don't scare them enough. That's not nice. I got the evidence on you. Maria done stir them up now. I used the charcoal in here. 
Do that again, baby. Lovely. Can a brother get a table dance? Can a brother get a table dance? Can a brother get a table dance? Old school rap right there, folks. Can you show us how you do your lato lato? Yeah. Do it again. Good job, sweetie. Pretty good on the pork, but Ayo. then you come in there with the red hot dogs. What's going on? Maria, I love Maria. your cookie. Maria likes the hot dog. Maria, you like the hot dog? All the viewers out there, they want to see my body, maybe. They want to oh. see me sweat. All the ladies want to see me all swolled up. Well, not really, but hey, shit happens, you know what I mean? Hey. You got, you got one option with me, that's to love me. Love me at my best, love me at my worst, everything in between. That's the only option with this guy right here. Okay. Folks, got this uh, got this charcoal grill going on here. She's gonna throw some, uh, some pork, red hot dogs on there. I have no idea what she's doing up in the woods behind this little grill. But this place right here is too cool where we're coming from. It's called Two Crazy Monkeys here in McCowan, which is very close. Very close to the $28 beach condo where we used to live. So we stayed in a little hooch uh, across the way. I'll put some footage of that. Too cool. Folks, this is our little hooch right here. We stayed in here one night and it is just too cool. I mean, check this out. You're just underneath the bananas. You got a, your own hammock. But we're about to transfer to a bigger room. But check out this room. You have a, a bed up there, and it's got its own fan. You got uh, bunk beds over here. Hey, sweetie girl. And a little bench, air con. Thumbs up for that. But we've got this big family room. I don't know, it sleeps like 12. It's got a kitchen, three CRs, your own little private area right here. Uh, it is too cool. And uh, I had it in mind to invite several other family members over, but it's just uh, just us and uh, and Grandma. Grandma's in there watching Little Forest G. He's so tired from playing. Oh yeah, it's looking real nice on that grill. Real nice, folks. Mm. Drink a good cold beer. Got a ref in here. Put them up in that little freezer part. Nice and cold. I'm gonna tell you right now, life is good. But there's only one 7-Eleven in Dumb and Tiny. It's like a center of, a, of gravity. It's a, everybody goes there, right? Whether you pull money from the ATM, you're shopping, getting a hot dog, whatever. My only complaint is the, in the far right is where the beer is. So none of that shit's cold. The only ones in there that seem to be cold are the San Miguel Light. I don't know why. But I go there, touch it, they're not cold. They're like yeah, cool. Anyhow, just not complaining, just letting you know, slice of my day. Damn, used to have a six pack, now I got a big old keg. Shit happens. Daddy, I want pork. Oh yeah, look at them. Look at that pork. Look at that little grill go. That's going to be some delicious meat coming off there tonight. And then here's a little cooking area. Got a couple burners here. 
That's what we cook the fish soup for lunch on. Right to mine is deploying the temperature control device. Heating that thing up a little bit. I think it's hot enough though. Here's a story for the day. Everyday life in the Philippines, right? Not, not a big story, but... So there's me, finding my grandma, three adults, two kids. And folks, you know, I might not be tall like a basketball player, but you know, I'm wide. So, you know, you've seen these trikes on the videos. And here they have like a front seat, a back seat, and then you can sit behind the driver. And they're supposed to have, what, six? So one, two, three, four, and then two behind the driver. So six passengers, at least. But some of these cast trikes are so small, there's no way that me and a bigger size local guy or gal can fit together without us like turning sideways, whatever, right? If it's two fucking miles, they're comfortable. Um, so anyhow, you know, getting these trikes, you roll up there and it's the next man in line. And one guy may have just uh, a total piece of shit trike with rust everywhere. It's small, it's rickety. And the next guy's got a brand new Cadillac, right? It's the luck of the draw. So we get up there. And there's our, in, in this little small trike with rust bucket, you know, just a hunk of shit. There's two people in the front one person on the back and then they expected us to squeeze in there and I'm like how, how the fuck are we gonna fit two adults two kids and my I was like hell no that's not happening I just told them like look and it's the way I deal with it I say hey man I'm too fat and I'm too old and I'm claustrophobic half the time they don't know what claustrophobic means but they know I'm too fat and too old I can't ride like that and then I just go to the next guy, like, oh yeah, he got a nice Cadillac, and like everybody load up. By then, it's, it's too late. I've done taken over. There's nothing they can say to get me back in the other track, even though I'm upsetting the natural balance. I'm like, load them up, load them up. So we load up. Everybody's just looking bewildered, but sometimes you have to subtly, quickly, just take matters into your own hand because there's no fucking way I'm riding like that. I used to deal with it. I'm not dealing with that shit no more. I'm not dealing where half my ass cheek is hanging off the back and everybody's in there like this. There's rust spots everywhere. No, it's not happening. It's just not going to happen. So, yeah, we end up riding in this nice Cadillac. The dude's shit was brand new. It's almost like he had a little bucket seat, sort of like a facade of bucket seats, you know, one, two, three, four. And on the back, it was a really nice seat on the back. High roof. I said, hey, get this dude's number. This dude right here is my new Lamborghini, right? I'm gonna call this dude every day. The shit's brand new and he drove really nice. Now bear in mind, there's five of us, right? Me, Fadima, her mom, two babies, there's five of us. I was all excited. Yeah, this dude's my horse, right? Um, call him. He'd take me everywhere I want to go around here from now to the end of time. Just like Jason did back in Subic. But what happens when we pull up here at the resort? What happened, Fatima? Fatima, now it's 30 pesos each, right? So Fatima gives the cat 150. There's five of us, 30 pesos each. What did the Kuya do? What did he say, baby? Huh? He said 180. 180. Because there's supposed to be six passengers. He couldn't accept the 150. I just gave it. It's supposed to be to just 100, 1 hour. It's just supposed to be to 90 because 30, 30, 30. Honey, 30 times 5 is 150. And you gave him 150, right? And he wanted 180 because there's supposed to be six passengers, right? Mm -hmm. 
So he ganked this for the extra passenger, the ghost passenger, right? And blame it on me because, you know, the foreign guy's impatient, couldn't wait, whatever. But what the guy did, he just fucked himself out of months, potentially years of business. And we pay pretty well. <laughs> we pay pretty good when people work for us all day long and take us a hundred places, you know. So the dude, that, you know, no use of naming no names. I can't even remember your name, brother, but but you ganking me for that 30 pesos. And then he heard me talk. The thing about it the whole time I was saying, hey, make sure you get this dude's number. We'll call him every time. He's listening. Maybe he doesn't understand the word I said. That's a very high probability. But I kept saying the whole route, he knew I wanted to get his number. We get out, I want to get his number. Right up until the time he ganked me for the extra 30. And it just goes back to, you know, people here, they think right now. They don't think tomorrow. They don't think a week ahead. A month? Hell no. It's all about today. And he wanted that 30 pesos today and just can't envision me and my talking and telling them, hey, you know, we'll call you every every time we need to go somewhere because you got a nice a nice trike and you drive real good. That's not how people think here. They think today. That's it. So little does he know, that 30 pesos ganking me for that, uh, you know, cost him a lot of business. Now he'll be up there like he does every day, sitting up there waiting around for hours for people to load up and get a run. He could have been working for us quite often. But I just thought I would share that so you, at some point you'd be, you begin to understand how people think. Um, they, they don't think in weeks, months, years, quarters, nothing like that. They think right now. That 30 pesos was more important than him giving me his number and saying, hey man, any, any, anytime you need a, a ride, just call me. No, just one of the 30 and to go. Just thought I'd share the story with you. Yeah, really nice fucking brand new trike too. That's what pisses me off. Versus, okay, versus the other night. The other night I left her village. Her uncle took me to Domantayan because I needed to get back to the hut and uh, do some work on the laptop. They spent the night at grandma's house. Um, I go back over to the hut by myself. Her uncle takes me to Domantayan on a motorbike that's like 80 years old. I mean, the, the lights. You might as well don't not have lights on it, you know. It's just, they got really old motorbikes in the village, my goodness. So he takes me to Dama Time. I run into a nice motorbike driver. Gives me a rock bottom price, late at night, taking me where I need to go. You know, drives wonderful, slow. Takes me exactly where I want to pull up to. You know, it says, hey sir, I work Saturdays and Sundays. If you need a ride, you can call me anytime. I'll give you a fair price. I got that cat's number. Why? Because he gave me a fucking fair price in the middle of the night when he could have gouged me because there weren't many motorbikes around at that hour. Um, and if I'm here on Saturdays and Sundays and need a motorbike, got the dude on speed dial. He'll get a lot of business from me, from us. I don't know. I just thought I'd share that story. I just fucking disappointed because that dude was perfect. Right up until he ganked me for that extra 30. Wouldn't have been better if you just gave me your number, charged us 30 pesos ahead, and then it would have been my horse, my chariot, my land, my new Lamborghini. So, 30 pesos, that's not even half a bottle of Kalafu. What you think, baby? And she's a She's the one who did. I was still trying to get the cast number because I didn't realize what went down. And she's like, shui, hui, ba la capata, whatever the hell she said, you know. Like, what? Maybe I need to get the dude's number. And then, you know, realize the gang for a 30. It's 20 minutes. 20 minutes to tell a short story. I can't tell short stories. But. All right, folks, there you go. There's the famous red hot dogs. 
Now, Fatima loves the red hot dogs here in Cebu, but she does not like the red hot dogs in the Angeli City. Oh. Would you like to explain why? They're all red hot dogs. Taste different. Different taste? Yeah, in the next smoke hot dog. The grill's rocking on with it, ain't it? That dance again. Ready? Cause I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. No, no taste testing the hot dogs, please. So Fatima's got this new saying, right? She always says, you're so harsh. I said, Fatima, don't eat all the hot dogs while you're barbecuing. My gosh, you're so harsh. Who taught you that, baby? Who's fighting? Oh, he don't want to take a bath? You too sleepy or what? Folks, they played on that playground. Oh my gosh. They are so tired right now. They're too tired to eat, probably. He don't want to take a bath, but... She's in there making him take a bath because he's about to pass out and go to sleep. That's true. He, he, he was so tired last night. He went to bed. Didn't eat supper. We tried to get him to eat and that boy was out. He's out. He's so tired. Go this. They love that playground over there in Dumbentine. It's so nice. Whoever uh, responsible for that, man, that's y'all did a good thing over there. It's just a beautiful playground. Good job, Maria. Of course, she was sort of scared to go down the big slide, and Maria drug him up there, and now he's going by himself. Go by the road. There he goes. Good job, Butteroo. Go with sister. Whoa, easy, Maria. Maria, go with him. There you go. Get him, Maria. Good job, sweetie girl. Maria is such a good big sister to him. She's such a good auntie. She, she made sure he went down the first time. Now he loves it. But he was scared at first. <laughs> Good job, sweet babies. Filipino style towel. <laughs> Good job, son. Yeah, he's going by himself now. Maria and got him squared away. Good 
He's on his, he's chilling on a swing. He's cool off. all seem to work it out somehow. <laughs> no, buddy, room. <laughs> yeah, he's in there giving her hell. <laughs> Dude, it looks like brisket. But it ain't brisket. It's a piece of pork. You get your grill too hot, baby. This is warm. Marie, you like that red hot dog? You want one more? No, I'm fine. You want the pork? Get some off a of brother's plate. No, I don't like pork. But you like those red hot dogs? Yeah. And I want to eat chips when I'm done. Okay, eat the chips too. <laughs> if you finish the oil. Yeah. Fatima, if you eat all the red hot dogs, I'll let you watch Barbie later. Folks got grandma on the scene. Fatima, get your mother some more red hot dogs and pork, Mom. please. Fatima, we gotta work on your hostessing skills. <laughs> Fatima, I gotta give you some props today, baby. You thought about Big Daddy and put me two peppers on there. Mm. I'll tell you, maybe you're starting to care about me after all. I might have to move you back up to, uh, where you at now? Wife number three? You uh, might get moved back to the solid wife number two. Go ahead, baby. Go ahead. Then you risk being permanently banned from the kingdom. I have to move you back to baby baby mama number zero. What, what am I at? Zero zero nine, somewhere in there. Mm-hmm. Reduce you in rank to baby mama. Oh, we got a cat burglar. Watch that cat, baby. He's trying to get up here now. Got a cat burglar. Mommy. He just rolls through smooth, but he was scoping it out. Trust me, he's scoping us out. Here. Yeah, give him some bones. But Fatima, usually you nibble on them bones. Yeah, you're a chicken bone nibbler, but not a pork bone nibbler. Yeah, but if ribs, mm, my good. You're a pork rib nibbler? Ribs. Baby, I gotta tell you, there's this place in America called Pineapple Willie's. It's in Panama City Beach, Florida. They used to have these pork ribs there. Oh my goodness, so delicious. I dream about them pork ribs every now and then. Okay. You would love to nibble on them pork ribs, baby. One day I'm gonna take you to Pineapple Willie's and get you a big old plate of them pork ribs, uh, coleslaw, french fries. You said fries. they're going to ban me, Anna. <laughs> well, if you, it depends. You can either be banned or you can go to Pineapple Willie's. Which way you wanna go? <laughs> Govern yourself accordingly. I can't. I, I can't. 
I, I can't live without you? No. You, you don't think so? Yeah. I like mommy's cooking. Mama did good cooking today? Yes, mommy did a good chef. She's a good chef today? Yeah. I'm glad you like it, sweetie girl. Yeah. And what does grandma have to say? Fatima, she luto masa rabdi ba? So you're saying that the that the pork is too tough for her? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what she just eat to eat her love. Mm. And I got the pork ma? Oh. Mm. Um. <laughs> Baby, you can't make tough pork. <laughs> you gotta have you gotta have a full set of teeth to gnaw on that pork, baby. Mm. Oh, if I do yeah. Here we go, Filipino style feeding the baby. I guess it accomplishes the same objective, puts nutrients in the body of the children, but not much for table manners. Well, Maria loves your cooking. My goodness, sweetie. Baby, that pork's so tough, the cat don't want to eat it. I'll let y'all know I'm truly blessed. I'm truly blessed with this tough pork tonight. I mean, look, it looks tough. I mean, you can, you can make a pair of boots out of this pork and it lasts 20 years, probably. But I am touched I'm touched that she put me a couple peppers on there that means she thought about me mm. oh yeah that's on time right there mom mm. oh that's good that's not boot leather a little bit charred but that's how I like it I like it charred mmm I love it. I love it. I mean, you know, I mean, the difference is I got all my teeth. You know, mom ain't got all her teeth. It's probably hard for her to chew uh, tough pork, but for me, it's not tough. Oh, yeah. That's delicious. Mmm. If I have some coleslaw, macaroni and cheese, or some green bean casserole to go with this, I'll be in heaven. Oh, that's delicious. Mm, absolutely delicious. Most lovely little place here. Two crazy monkeys, same folks who own the little sanity beach house. It's too cool. Bye. If you're coming here to visit with your wife's family, you need a big room. This is perfect. You can cook, barbecue, plenty of uh, plenty of room to sit around. Bring the coolies in here and drink some Red Horse. It's a wonderful place. Bye. My coffee, folks. Holy moly, check that out. That is too cute right there. It's exactly what the doctor ordered this morning. He asked me what kind of coffee I wanted. Three in one, I mean, usually that's what you get here in the Philippines. You don't get real coffee. And I'm not even sure how to use this. I don't know, you push it down. I don't even know. All I know is look at that coffee in the morning. Oh my goodness, folks. I'm here at this little resort called Two Crazy Monkeys. Look at that coffee. My goodness. Let me give you a look around here while there's no other guests that I would be disturbing. This is the reception in the bar area. A couple of tables over there. Uh, right back over there is like the massage area you know that's what i'd call it look at this lovely little pool and folks we're just in the middle of all these banana plants look at that see those bananas up there the bananas keep the i mean this whole area is just so cool the whole area is cool it's shaded we're just in the middle 
of huge banana plants, banana trees, whatever you want to call them. Bananas everywhere. It's just such a lovely little place. And they're the, they're the folks who own a little Sanity Beach House. You also saw that on previous videos just down the road. But yeah, and I'll, sh I'll show you around the room, folks, we got here. Uh, I was so tired, I didn't do any filming when we first arrived. Check that out. Too cool. Look at this, got some brown sugar. We got over here, oh, creamer. Whoop. Spin it around here so I don't make a mess. You know what? A little bit more sugar. That is gonna be some kind of delicious. Oh my goodness. That made my morning, y'all. Again, here in the Philippines, you usually get the what's called three in one. It's sort of like a, it's just a powder, like hot chocolate mix. Um, not many places you go, you can get real coffee. I gotta buy a coffee pot. If I had a coffee pot, I probably wouldn't drink beer, wine, liquor in the mornings. I'll stick to coffee till after, say, lunch. It'd be good for my health. Might live to be 108. It's tender. Yeah. Now your mom don't got no tea, so I understand her, her struggle, but that pork is actually pretty tender. No, it's delicious. I love it. If I had some KC Masterpiece barbecue sauce to go on it, oh wow. But I still doesn't understand the concept of how, how an air conditioner actually works. I'm trying to explain thermal dynamics to her. Uh, I'm still working on that lesson. Don't understand. You leave the door open, the air kind of don't work. All it does is run up my electric bill. That's delicious. That's delicious. Even that red hot dog tastes good. Folks, I'll just give you a quick look around uh, while everything's kind of quiet. I'm not sure what this is called, the family room. I'm not real sure, but uh, basically you've got one, two, three, four sets of bunk beds, right? And the top is like a, like a single, but down on the bottom, you've got, uh, is that a queen size? Anyhow, it's, it, the, the bottom deck is a, is a big bed. So you can sleep plenty of people in the room. And let me turn around here. Got a nice air con, a couple of ceiling fans. It is nice and cool in here, and we are certainly enjoying it. Um, got the whole crew hanging out over there on that one. Uh, this is the kitchen area, and I've used... This big prep area slash bar as my desk. And so if you need to spread out your laptop, now I, I love a standing desk, no bar stool, but I, I love a standing desk. So this is wonderful for me. Places to plug in your, uh, your gadgets right there. 
and comes with uh, with the water so you got free water got a little ref over here and full kitchen full kitchen here for uh, cooking plenty of pots and pans uh, dishes everything you need everything you need here to uh, to cook your own food let's see I'll come over here now folks we've been here for two days so uh, this is a shower and sink and a full mirror right there so you have a shower here and then you have another shower here and then this is the uh, the toilet the john so if you've got your wife's family everybody coming over to hang out and i plan on inviting a bunch of folks over but the only person who'd come over to hang out was grandma we certainly appreciate her coming over and hanging out enjoyed her company and then out here you've got this nice sort of curved bench area big old table to put all the food you've got the barbecue grill and the two burners here and it's been coming a monsoon today so everything's a little bit wet but uh and then through there is the swimming pool so this little area out here is just too cool for a family get together and then there's also an outside uh cr and i think it says okay so 12 is check-in and check out is uh, before 11. i think on a go to it says 12 packs the room can accommodate 12. Um, i have to verify with them plenty of tiles plenty of pillows plenty of linen um this place is just awesome do have free wi-fi and uh it's worked pretty good for us here and got plenty of natural lighting right right here so there's you a look around here we're two crazy monkeys and we're here in bacowan which is very close <laughs> look at this crew of course she's taking a little nap and they're trying to take a nap yeah so anyhow we're here in Bacowan, very close to where the 28 dollar beach condo is and the beach is just uh that way the road's right there we're on the beach side um you know i can't even remember how we get to the beach we, have, we, we didn't walk to the beach since we've been here um it's either that way or this way Anyhow, we used to live very close. We went to the beach all the time. So there you go. There's your look around. Again, this is the family room, and I've already showed you a little bit of footage of the hooch over there. Uh, here at Two Crazy Monkeys, and the folks are wonderful. Shout out to y'all. Thank y'all very much for all the hospitality. And morning coffee. Oh, my gosh. I already showed you footage of the morning coffee. Get the morning coffee. And all the food that we've had here has been wonderful. Now, you know, if you've been island hopping and at your wife's village or whatever, you know, probably getting some familiar food has been a challenge. It happens. So we come here, they got these little pizzas. And, uh, you know, first thing we ordered when we checked in here, give us some pizzas. So we ate some pizzas and sampled pretty much the whole menu and good to go good to go folks and of course last night if i did my cook those pork chops out there that were on time so it's all good it's all good and we've enjoyed our stay we'll be checking out of here tomorrow moving on to the next adventure <laughs>